Hey guys, what's up? Uh, meteorologist Nick Lilia here, uh, taking a look at weather apps. Uh, I've got a lot of questions uh, given the uh, recent uh, weather events. Uh, what's a good app for weather? And uh, I keep on telling people the Weather Underground app, but then I thought to myself, uh, well, maybe people don't know what it looks like, and on top of that, maybe they don't know how to set things up. And, you know, heck, I don't blame you. I, I get a new app every once in a while, and I you know, start playing around with it, and I go, wait a second, how do I, how do I do this again? So, anyway, here's a quick look at, uh, how the heck to set this thing up, and, uh, there it is right there, it's the, uh, rain shower with the rainbow back behind it, so at least you know, uh, what to look for. And as you open it up here, looks like that, there you go, wonderground.com. By the way, also a great website to look at, uh, if you're looking for, uh, good weather information. Uh, you can get this app for free, or I think you can buy it, too. Uh, I prefer the free one. I don't mind the ads on bottom. So, uh, what it does when you open it up, it'll look like this. Uh, to set this up the way that you want it to, you can set up a couple of different uh, cities in here. Amarillo, Texas, you can go ahead and star that one, and that'll be your main guy, which means that you'll get severe weather updates and alerts. Uh, for example, if there's a tornado watch, tornado warning, severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm warning, you'll get all of that information. And in fact, uh, you can see the little exclamation point right here. Uh, you push on that, it says all your watches and warnings. You got a fire weather warning in effect for today. There's the public information statement about uh, Gaiman uh, transmitter being down. And you'll be able to see all of the watches and warnings that are in effect right now, right here. So, uh, say for example, it was uh, Tuesday night at about 11:30 when the tornado watch and tornado or excuse me when the tornado warning came down for the city of Amarillo not only does this uh, make an alert it actually sounds like a tornado siren and it'll hold that uh, sound for i believe a solid 5 or 10 seconds uh, but then it'll alert you uh, with a little box and you'll be able to click it and it'll well pull this up and you'll get all of your information about the tornado warning right there it also has a really cool map feature on here. Uh, not only does it give you uh, temperatures from across the high plains or uh, across the country, as we zoom back out here, you can notice if you zoom back out, say you're going for a trip uh, to the Metroplex, Oklahoma City, uh, maybe you're making your way up to Wichita, Kansas, you can get all of your uh, current conditions, I guess, from basically all across the country on here. A really nifty little app. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed by it. So to set up the radar on here, go ahead and click the little uh, gearbox, and I'm going to turn off the weather stations right now. I'm going to turn on the radar. Now, there's nothing on the radar, unfortunately, right now, uh, but we can go ahead and go over to the settings. So, uh, you missed that, you just click the little arrow here, and I'm going to turn storm tracks on. So, again, nothing on the radar for us, but as we zoom back out, I mean, it is noon, uh, so there's plenty of stuff happening over in Oklahoma and Kansas. In fact, See that little triangle guy right there? Now, that is often an indication uh, that we do have a tornado, tornadic thunderstorm in here. In fact, if we zoom on in, you can see uh, there's a couple of guys in here. The little box is a rotating thunderstorm, and the little circle is just your regular run-of-the-mill thunderstorm. And again, storm tracks will show the direction that it's going and how fast it's moving. The bigger the cone, the faster it's going. And you can actually click... For example, we'll click on this guy. I say click, but you can tap. And it gives you all of this great information. Radar detected thunderstorm. Now this is a rotating thunderstorm. No hail with this guy. It tells you how big it is. And uh, oftentimes for us weather geeks, uh, this gives us an, an opportunity to kind of get a feel for how strong it is and the speed that it's moving. Let's find one that's actually kind of cooking right along. In fact, uh, we'll click on this guy right here. Now this one says tornadic thunderstorm. And again, I think of course, uh, being the weather nerd, uh, with it having an echo top of 24,000 feet, I don't think you have to worry about that. My guess would be that it's actually just clipping the top of the clouds in this case. Uh, but, you know, you can take a look at this, and it'll say, well, it's not saying that it's moving, but usually it'll say the speed and the direction. Now, this is the direction from, so uh, keep in mind that when you read this guy, it'll say, you know, for example, for us, a lot of our storms move from southwest to northeast. It will say direction southwest and, you know, 30 miles an hour. It's not moving southwest, it's moving from the southwest. Okay, so we'll zoom back out and we'll kind of go back home here. You can also set up severe functions. And what that'll give you is all of your severe weather alerts 
And for us, there you are. We are boxed in with the fire weather warning. Of course, you saw that on the main screen as well. So uh, you got a couple of different options here. The, the best one probably that I like the most is during a, a severe weather situation, you've got the weather radio on here. Just click play and... How about that, right? And so if there's a tornado watch or tornado warning, you can get all of your information right here. And you can get that information for, well, we can go over to Portland, Oregon, for example, and there you go. Now you got Portland, Oregon playing. Five to ten knots, rising to 15 knots with gusts to 20. Personally, I think the Amarillo, Texas one is a little more important. Uh, so there you go. And you've got a couple of different settings in here. Uh, you know, you got a member center, so if you want to pay for the app, you can get uh, tropical updates, a uh, couple of settings. You can change it to Celsius, kilometers if need be. Uh, the forecast, you can do the best forecast or the National Weather Service forecast. Um, the best forecast, i got to say on here, our best forecast, not always the best. I'm just going to be, <laughs> I guess that's an opinion, but uh, I tend to prefer the National Weather Service forecast. So there you go. Uh, that's how you set up your uh, Weather Underground app, and hopefully this will uh, help people out. Uh, you know, the next time uh, there is severe weather for the city of Amarillo. By the way, uh, just as an aside, uh, you've got a uh, Twitter. Uh, you can go ahead and check things out on Twitter. Or if you're big on Twitter, you can also share on Twitter your the conditions, the forecast, or the alerts. Uh, I like this one. You can share alerts. So two weather alerts for Amarillo, the fire weather warning, and that public information statement. So if you've got followers on Twitter, or if, you know, you go back and forth with a couple of different friends, you can also alert them via your own little personal meteorologist. So anyway, there's a look at uh, the Weather Underground app. Hope this helped everybody out.